So next, uh, before we actually go and do some of the things I just mentioned, um, I want to talk about kind of how Git uh, knows where you're at in history. The term um, uh, head in Git is, is kind of a reference to where in history you are. Um, for those of us old enough to think of um, old musical terms and like tape, uh, things like that, like the playhead, where, where is it at on the tape? Um, but, uh, more and more, uh, current terms, this video itself, um, the playhead is at, you know, 16 minutes and 35 seconds. Um, whereas, you know, in Git, we have hashes. So revision one, that hash, revision two, that has a hash. Those are two places that the playhead could be. And by default, you should always be at the most recent change. So your playhead, when you commit, your playhead moves forward to that, that new change, um, leaving the other changes behind it. But then you could also, if you wanted to, move the playhead back. And that's what I say when I mean by going back in time to see what you had done or what the state of the project was at a different point in time. So to kind of illustrate that, let's... Um, let's just assume we, we ran this workflow again. And, uh, so we've, we've made three commits to the repository. Thus we have these three hashes and, uh, we'll just make up, um, and I'm actually going to make it real simple. Um, even though in reality, it would be more like, you know, something like this. Okay. But to keep it simple, we'll we'll make the hashes real simple. All right, so I'm going to try and do this in Notepad <laughs> um, instead of uh, I was going to make a real fancy PowerPoint, but uh, we'll see if I can illustrate that here. So let's first put some markers down, like uh, on. So here I'm using the dots to uh, reference the future. Like, uh, and, and I debated whether I'm putting these extra little markers in here um, because they don't exist yet. Uh, but just to kind of represent how things, it will continue on, you know, as you keep committing. Um, but so say we just made these changes to the repository. Our playhead then is right here. Um, the next time we make a commit, playhead moves here. If we were we were to um, go back in time, then the playhead simply you know, go, goes back to whatever hash we've decided we want to go back to. Now I'm hoping that going through this first um, will help once we actually run through this these steps. Um, maybe it will, maybe it won't. Um, but I know that if I just flew through all these things over here in, in the command line, uh, you may not really have a full grasp on why and what's happening. So now with this as a reference, let's uh, let's go ahead and run through it. <laughs> 